Hey guys, as we discussed a little bit in our last vlog, one of the most fundamental principles of a Thomas Jefferson education is the concept that every student, every person has genius and the potential for greatness. And today we're going to go ahead and dive into that a little bit more, really develop it and discuss it and talk about what that means, what that looks like and how it impacts and ripples out into everything else we do. So we're going to go ahead and start off by a quote that Ian's going to read from TJ Ed for Teens by Oliver DeMille and Shannon Brooks. I love this quote. And if you're going to stick around through this vlog, you'll probably hear this a whole bunch more times if you've been in TJ at High with us. You've heard this quote a couple of times. I, if you've been I to think... seminars, you've heard me give it a couple of times. And I think that's kind of part of the definition of what it means to be one of the most fundamental principles of right? something, is that it's going to come up a time or two. It's, it's powerful, and it's true. It's very real. And frankly, we can't be reminded of this too much, because it absolutely has to get to the point where it's so ingrained in us that we know it so deeply that it's not just in our heads, but it's in our hearts and that it's at the heart of how we approach everything else we do in education because if we lose this then really yeah. all the other principles all the other techniques all the other everything else we do loses a little bit of its luster loses a little bit of its effectiveness and loses a little bit of its heart because this has got to be the fundamental it's got to be the base on which everything else is built so, you know, you'll hear it again. And remember, every time you hear it, you're like, yes, I need to be reminded of this. Remind yourself of this because really this is so deeply, deeply important that it really does set the stage for everything else. And just thinking about it, being remembered or reminded of it, uh, sometimes it is nice to have that remembrance that our kids really are geniuses. Because sometimes you look at the things they do <laughs> and what they, you just, really? It's just... Really? And then you talk to your parents about when you were a kid, right? I sat down and said, Mom, did I really? Was I actually? I'm so sorry. That's. I don't know where that <laughs> The genius reminder is, is poignant sometimes. <laughs> really? But it's also Even true. When you're an adult. It's also but, true. Oh, and see, so that's the... handling those moments when you most need it from a practical standpoint, it's also important because it's a powerful reminder that even in those moments, it is still true. It is said that when God wants to change the world, he sends a baby perfectly timed to grow, learn, prepare, and then take action at the right moment. But there are times when one baby won't suffice, when the challenges facing the world are just too great. And so instead of a great reformer or a few key thinkers, what is needed is a whole generation of leaders. This happened in the 6th century BC and in the first decade of the Common Era, then again in the American founding generation. We believe it is happening again today. And I say that as if it's me saying it because I wholeheartedly believe this and agree with this. Uh, the, the youth that we've worked with uh, and, and the adults as you go through history, these generations where we are born, there is a kind of a, a joint mission or a joint genius, a joint greatness that each generation has been, has been given and even though uh, it's has the joint, opportunity. That doesn't mean it looks the same, right? <laughs> no, Everybody not even close. Everybody is so different and naturally should be different. It's just part of how it works. But remembering that even, even at the most basic level, we at least share that one thing of that genius, of that mission, that we all have mission, that we all have the potential for greatness, and that we all have genius. And uh, you were mentioning before that sometimes there are days when we need to be reminded that ourselves as the parents, as the mentors in the situations when our kids are just nailing it, right? They're just really, they're really flowing in the, you know, in their education. They're really getting it. They're, all these epiphanies are coming, all these breakthroughs, all of this in incredible talent and genius is just shining from them. And we get to sit there and say, how do I facilitate this? How do I help this? How do I how do be I enough? How do I stay one step ahead right. with everything else you have going on? And so in those moments, remember that you too have genius and the potential for greatness. And, and that we're in fact born for this. Families were designed for this. It, it's natural for this. That doesn't mean it's easy. No. <laughs> it doesn't mean it always makes sense, but it does mean that it works, right? And remember that you have that genius, that each of your kids has that genius, and that as a family, to working together with that as the underlying principle that everything else is built on, 
it goes, it works out. Again, there are other principles that apply that matter, but always come back to that and remember that, and let that relieve you, let that give you peace, and also let it give you motivation. Let it empower you. Let it get you excited and inspired about what's next. Because as we take each next step, building on that genius, building towards that great potential, it's incredible to see the things that happen in ourselves, in our children, in our homes, in our communities, and beyond. Uh, an exercise for me that really helped put this into perspective and to recognize and realize really what this means that our children are geniuses that they have greatness and they have a mission that they need to prepare for and live again the the catchphrase of tg ed is getting an education to match your mission uh, which again if you take that in context of the quote you just read about these babies sent to change the world that that's a you need a pretty good education for that i'd imagine and so I love that you brought it back to that because uh, Mother Teresa had parents. George Washington had parents. Abigail Adams, uh, Florence Nightingale, Joan of Arc. Uh, we, can, uh, we can go through, uh, think of your hero. Think of the hero that your kids have. Go through what's the, the history uh, line, if I can find it again really quick. What about in the 6th century BC? What was going on there? What, were the, what was the generation that was born for greatness that made a massive freedom shift? Or the first decade in the Common Era? Or the American founding generation? To recognize, and this is kind of a humbling thing, and pretty daunting too when you really think about it, but also Empowering. really exhilarating, like yeah. amazingly exciting that we get to be part of raising a Mother Teresa of preparing a George Washington, uh, of, of enabling a Galileo. Of building and shaping a Florence Nightingale, a Hannah Hendy, Abigail Adams. A Mozart, a Paganini. Uh, you go, again, you go through the list. An and Einstein. An I, you're sitting around the table and the kid who's putting a noodles up his nose maybe today is that great person is not will be or could be but is that genius is that wonderful soul that brings light and joy and has a mission that will bring so much good to this world and help so many people and then to look in the mirror when you wake up or go to bed tonight and realize that's me and if you're just quoting me right now then that's fine just believe on what i'm saying right now because you'll get there if if Again, when you start seeing that in your kids, you look yourself in the eye and you realize you do. You have genius. You do. You have absolute. You, you're an expert. You're a you're a, a, a savant. What's the what's the right word? Is that the I, a you're genius. a genius? <laughs> <laughs> you are. You have your gifts. You have your talents that you've been blessed with. That and you've you have been your given mission for your area, for your mission, and you have what it takes to do it and to absolutely fulfill it because you are that genius and a genius to set up to raise other geniuses to accomplish that who will then raise other geniuses and you see the ripple effect of that how powerful that is now as you and look at fun, oh sorry <laughs> how amazing that is yeah no, i just wanted to add more no it, it, there's that, a lot it's there. so cool <laughs> a lot of angles of awesomeness connected right. to this genius stuff um but then as you look at each of these potential geniuses and these potentially great geniuses right Imagine the type of education to match that. And imagine what education would look like if we had this deep understanding that the purpose of education was to prepare such geniuses for that potential greatness. Now that's an education. Go be geniuses. Go raise geniuses. Guess what? You were born for it. Trust the process. You've got this.